Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we discuss about formula for commodity increase and expenditure. In our previous classes, we have done some basic examples and percentages. This is a continuation class. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so we are going to discuss the formula and we are going to derive those formulas and we do one example. So, if the price of a commodity increases by R percent, if a commodity price has been increased by R percent, then the reduction in consumption so as not to increase the expenditure is. So, if the price of the commodity increases, in order to make the expenditure balance, we need to reduce the consumption. So, how much percentage of the consumption we have to reduce? So that is what uh, we need to identify the percentage then the reduction in consumption so as not to increase expenditure is a dash percent how much percent we need to reduce our consumption. So this is given as R by 100 plus R multiplied by 100 percent that is the amount of percent we need to reduce our consumption. How we got this equation that we are going to derive it. Uh, let's check one more formula. If the price of commodity decreases by R percent, then the increase in consumption so as not to decrease the expenditure is dash percent R by 100 minus R multiplied by 100 percent. Uh, so if one formula is derived, other one is similar to the first one. So you can do it on your own. Uh, coming to the first one, we are going to derive the first one. Let the price of the commodity be X. And what is the amount of con amount we are consuming? We are going to consuming Y. So X is the price of the commodity and consumption is Y. What is the expenditure now? XY. Expenditure is equal to XY. Now this is the expenditure. If the price of commodity increases by R percent. So if the price is increased by R percent. New price is equal to X is the actual amount X plus r percent increase in x r percent of x which is given as r by 100 multiplied by x this formula we already discussed previously r percent of x means r by 100 multiplied by x so this is the total price x if you take the x common 1 plus r by 100 this is the new price of our commodity this is the new price of our commodity so what's the new consumption we are assuming that a new consumption is equal to z so expenditure should be same so new price new consumption equal to xy this is the previous expenditure this should be same this should be same this z should be reduced that's why that's why this expenditure should be same so with this if you cancel out the x values z is equal to y by 1 plus r by 100 so this is the new consumption, new amount we are going to consume. consume. Now we need that, actually we need that percentage decrease in consumption, percentage decrease in consumption. So what's how you are going to get the percentage decrease in consumption? Y is the actual consumption minus, this is the new consumption, actual minus new, we are going to get the per decrease in consumption divided by actual value you are going multiplied by 100 you are going to get the percentage value so actual consumption minus a reduced consumption if you minus it you are going to get the reduced value reduced value by actual value into 100 multiplied by 100 you are going to get the percentage so y multiplied by 1 minus 100 by 100 plus r by y y y cancelled multiplied by 100 if you take this out, uh, 100 plus R minus 100 by 100 plus R multiplied by 100. So 100, 100 cancelled out, uh, R by 100 plus R multiplied by 100 percentage. This is the equation which we have written in above. So if, there is, if the commodity increased by R percent, uh, the, ex the consumption should be decreased by R by 100 plus R multiplied by 100 percent. The percentage decrease in the consumption. Uh. Similarly, you can do for the remaining, uh, remaining one. We do one example. The price of diesel increased by 25%. How much percent must a car owner reduce his consumption so as not to increase his expenditure? We use the formula R by 100 plus R multiplied by 100. 25 by 100 plus 25 multiplied by 100 which is going to get 20%. Uh, 
so he has to reduce his consumption by 20 percent so he has to make the expenditure balance in our next class we are going to do some practice examples complex examples based on this formula so hope you understand these examples this uh, formula if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you